to our spring concert. Uh, the choir that stands before you is our Falcon Mixed Choir. Falcon Mixed Choir consists of ninth through 12th graders unauditioned, um, all voice parts. The piece they just sang for you is called Shalom Kaveri. It is a Hebrew round, meaning peace, my friends, until we meet again. Falcon Choir has two more pieces for you. We're gonna sing Come to Me, Oh My Love, and Turn the World Around. Please enjoy Falcon Choir. Thank you. 
as uh, Treble Choir makes their way to the stage, I just wanted to say um, a little something about their first piece. So the first piece that Treble Choir will sing is titled I Lift My Voice by Andrea Ramsey, and it is published in the Justice Choir Songbook. The first two verses are written by Ramsey, and the last two verses we wrote together as a choir. Um, they're written by this year's Treble Choir as inspired by the impact that they want to make on the world. The lyrics that they chose to write based on what impact they want to make on the world are, when I lift my voice, I'll speak with respect, only words of love will I interject, and I will use my voice to be an advocate for all animals who are in neglect. So those are two verses that they wrote that they will sing for you now as a part of I Lift My Voice by Andrea Ramsey.
Concert choir is coming up. Uh, now is a good time to note that all of the students who you see wearing carnations are, in fact, seniors. Um, and so at this concert, we are honoring them. Later in the program, after this choir is set, we're going to have a little slideshow. Um, we've got some baby pictures and some present day pictures. It's going to be cute. They picked a Taylor Swift song. Um, so there you go. Yeah. Here we go with concert choir, starting with Venga no Nostro Coro, um, which is an Italian piece that means come sing in the choir. It's a good place to be, and uh, truly I believe it is. So let's do that. Venga no Nostro Coro, chi vive buon contento, chi sono senza stento, la pace troverà, la pace troverà. Oh. 
want to take a small moment to um, talk about it. So Song for Sarajevo is um, a song that was written for the longest siege in modern history during the Bosnian War. It was written in 1994 by Judy Collins. As I was programming for this spring concert, um, I, I heard the song and the news about Ukraine had just broke. And so the song speaks about children whose who's childhood has been lost to war. And so in class, we talked about how many children worldwide are currently being displaced by violence and conflict. And I just wanted to share those numbers with you so you could think about them um, while these children sing about war. Uh, yeah, you're, you're big kids, but <laughs> they're, you're their kids, right? So uh, at the end of 2020, more than 33 million children worldwide had been forcibly displaced from their homes. This number includes some 11.8 million child refugees, 1.3 million asylum-seeking children, and an estimated 20.4 million children displaced within their own country by violence and conflict. On top of these numbers come another 2.9 million more children living in internal displacement as a consequence of natural disasters. We talked about these numbers in class and we imagined how our lives would be different as one of the 33 million children currently displaced by war. Please enjoy a song for Sarajevo. Yeah. 
right. Um, okay. So at this time, we're going to do some recognition, some senior recognition. Uh, at this time, I would now like to recognize our graduating seniors. Please stand or step forward if you are a graduating senior. <laughs> Kayla Schultz, Faith Mealy, Allison Hurley, Jaden DeGroote, JC Daniels, Emily Bauman, Caroline Drenth, Kelly Warbolowski, Carly Kamelik, and Sebastian Mukovich. Please stand. Come forward. I guess. about Simpson, our great choir director today. Ms. Simpson is the first teacher I've had for more than a year since sixth grade. Despite having them as a teacher for the longest amount of time, they've managed to make choir feel like a home in the shortest amount of time. They turned the class into a community, they provided a safe space for all students in FHS, not just the choir students, and they did all of this while facing a worldwide pandemic. While words cannot express the amount of gratitude we have for you as our mentor, our teacher, and our friend, we would like to give you a card and a gift here to express Aww. something of how, how thankful we are that we've gotten to know you these past few years. Oh. <laughs> Um, that was incredible. Thank you all so much. I, these, oh, mm, I really can't say anything else um, other than um, I love each and every one of these students and I'm really proud to have been their teacher. So um, if I say more than that, I might cry. So let's talk about the National School Choral Award. <laughs> National School Choral Award is widely recognized as the highest honor for high school choral performers. It recognizes the dedication and musical achievement of the top choral student in the high school choral program. Um, the students vote for this award of their peers who they think should be the recipient, and I could not have wholeheartedly agreed more with this year's recipient. This, um, this person is the heart and soul of their section, and when they are gone, everybody else knows it. Um, and they have put themselves in as much musical involvement as one human being could possibly do in one school, and they add so much life to the school. I cannot wait to see where she goes in the future, and um, that student is Caroline Drenth. Congratulations again to the class of 2022. Um, I wish you all the best. It has been an absolute pleasure to work with all of you during my tenure at Faribault High School, and I am grateful to know each and every one of you as singers and as students, and more importantly, as the incredible young adults that you are. I'm proud of your achievements, both in and out of choir, and I will always be on your cheerleading squad. Consider me your choir mom forever. Part emoji, Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Simpson.